Because Bowser, <laughs> go outside. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, then welcome to my channel. My name is Jackson Jardins. I'm an ACE certified personal trainer. I've personally lost 80 plus pounds, and I'm here to help you guys do the exact same thing. So in this video, I'm gonna take you guys through a full day of eating for weight loss, because I'm trying to lose the last bit of stubborn body fat right now, and I've really learned a lot throughout the process of transitioning from the OMAD style of eating and the hardcore fasting kind of stuff to something that's more sustainable for me, keeps me happier, and I'm seeing even better results than ever. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this full day of eating. All right guys, so the first thing that I have during the day is always I take a ginormous swig of this gallon. So I'll usually have, it's funny, I actually count like 15 to 20 sips in the morning. So like glug, 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 like 15 to 20 of them. But it's super important to start my day with just getting hydrated, which makes it kind of a bitch when I'm training clients in the studio because then I have to pee literally like every 30 minutes or like I have to wait through a whole session and just be like, oh my God. So on that note, cheers. Yeah, yeah, that's always <coughs> not particularly pleasant all the time. All right, guys, so the second thing that I have during the day is right after my water, and that is a good old 10 to 15 calorie energy drink. So my personal favorite is 3D Energy, owned by Christian Guzman. I just think that they taste the best. That's probably because I have been a huge Christian Guzman fan for a long time. But regardless, I'll usually buy like a 10 calorie monster just like last week, but I always have either this or a cup of coffee or sometimes both. Guys, I do this for the most part because I actually choose to intermittent fast usually, so I don't do it quite as hard as I used to, but what I'll do is I'll usually start eating around 10, and then I'll be eating until about like five or six. So I won't have my first meal until about 10 o'clock. Okay, so we have reached the point in the day where I actually go for a really long walk. Okay, so my cardio sources have changed dramatically throughout the years that I have lost weight from where I started all the way to kind of where I am now. So my preferred cardio source right now is really going for long walks. I'm talking not like a five, 10 minute walk. I'm talking like, an hour, hour and a half walk. It burns way more calories than you actually think and it's an amazing way to just kind of clear my mind and I actually can look forward to it, okay? But Jackson, why don't you run? Running is so much better, it burns so many more calories. If someone ain't chasing me, I ain't running. If it ain't broke, my friends, don't fix it. I'm not particularly doing it, doing fasted cardio on purpose. That just happened to fall that way today. I'm doing it in the morning because I'm off today. It comes down to how many calories you expend a day versus how many calories you eat a day. Okay, that's it. Doesn't matter when you do it. Because remember, we've gotta do what's sustainable. If you're not gonna be able to do it for a week, two weeks, a month, two months, one year, it's not gonna help you towards your long-term goals or really your short-term goals even because you're just gonna fall off the wagon when you're done. Regardless, I mean, just find a cardio source that you actually like doing and I'm getting ready to do mine. All right, let's pack some lunch. Life is good, am I right? For this lunch, we're gonna need ice packs, two turkey burgers, one apple, one egg white chunk thing, and of course, the all-time favorite, one peanut butter sandwich. Gotta put the egg on its own side here because it gets a little queasy if we don't do that. Turkey burgers also get their side. I know I'm saying turkey burger, but it looks like a sandwich. I'll explain in a little bit. The peanut butter sandwich is gonna go on top of the egg white ch chunk thing, and then the apple fits perfectly there, and boom. All right guys, so long story short, I'm a personal trainer and so is my mother, so we both went to a personal trainer convention back in March, and 
I was approached in the hallway and they were like, hey, do you want to come take pictures in this room? And I had to sit on this weird black couch and it looked all too familiar. But regardless, I went in there, there was a bunch of people taking pictures in there and it was for a spokesmodel shoot. So it was like, hey, we're gonna get a bunch of people to take pictures in here and then we're gonna pick one to be our spokesmodel for next year's convention. So anyway, fast forward a couple months and your boy's on the front cover and I'm like freaking out. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. So regardless, hopefully they still have this awesome event. And if they do, and you're looking to be a personal trainer, come by the event, I'd love to come meet you. So I wanna show you guys the weight log that I've been keeping. This was August, this is September. I track my weight every single morning to see how I'm fluctuating. And look, the weight isn't necessarily changing that much, but that's because recently I've started to really focus on my weight training in the gym and getting stronger and building muscle while slowly losing body fat. And yeah, sometimes it gets pretty specific. Hey, Bowser. Hey, buddy, Brady. Well, the caffeine is ingested, the water has been chugged, the walk has been gracefully executed, and now it's time to enjoy meal number one. Meal number one is gonna be one apple, one egg block chunk thing, and one peanut butter sandwich. It's time to dig in. Also, guys, I choose the egg whites because I want to get my fats from different things, and I'd rather not have the fat whites from the eggs. Fat whites yolks. So I'd rather be able to have my peanut butter sandwich, which has a ton of fat and, and a lot of extra calories because no, PB2 is not the same. I know it's healthier. Sometimes I'll even use it, but it is not the same as normal peanut butter. And if you disagree with me, put your paws up because I'm ready to rock. Son of a bitch. Now for the moment I've been waiting for. But Jackson, why are you eating a peanut butter sandwich when you can have jelly on it for like not that many calories? Well, you see, I like having peanut butter sandwiches. I just don't like the jelly on there. I'd rather just have normal peanut butter. So like, we split it. See, we just got peanut butter in there. That's really all I want. I literally make these all at one time and then just grab them out of the fridge. It's amazing. Last bite, do it right. Meal number one, let's get it. Mmm. All right, so now that I got some fuel in me, let's go ahead and hit a quick ab workout because I don't technically hit my abs that much during the week. We're repeating the circuit three times, but each time we're going 20 reps and then 15 reps and then 10 reps and then we're done. However, the one constant thing that is staying the same throughout this whole circuit is gonna be you're holding a one minute plank for the last movement. workout is officially done gotten it done feeling good so that just really goes to show you what you can do in 15 minutes if you just get after it and don't waste any time while you're doing the workout so now that we're done it's time for a post-workout meal let's eat thinking of something to say about being excited to eat I was like sometimes I compare it to going to GameStop as a kid because it's like I get to, it's like the best Boys feeling ever us. Yeah. GameStop is my favorite being it. Oh, hell yeah. I get to go into GameStop. I know it's gonna take up like hey, when I got Halo Reach at GameStop Like shit, dude. That was awesome because I played it. I got sick and I played it for like Dead ass probably like a week straight. That's kind of how I feel about these turkey burgers now I call them turkey burgers I went to Walmart and Walmart did not have the buns that I was that I always get which are 847 buns they literally have 80 calories per bun. In order to get the same exact macros, I actually had to end up using their brand of bread. And their brand of bread, I already use for my peanut butter sandwich. It's literally got like 40 calories a slice, which adds up to 80 calories per two slices. So yes, this is a turkey burger sandwich, but on here I've got a turkey burger, I've got like, pickle chips, like those pickle chip type things. I've got a slice of 2% American cheese for 45 calories, and I've got like one, one or two tablespoons of ketchup. So I have two of these, 
a day, and usually I have a protein shake right now, but I'm just gonna save it for later so I can make it into something special for this video. Yes, this is usually much better on a bun, but this still isn't that bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. First turkey burger is down. Turkey burger number two. Yeah, this one's good. This one got heated up right. It's not cold in the middle. That's nice. Bad bounce, bad bounce, bad bounce. Boom! Water update. Say we're about halfway, something like that, which is, you know, about halfway through the day. It's what, 224? It's not too bad. You know what? I have done, I've done just about. One time I like actually sat on the toilet holding the trash can, so I was like, I might throw up. Now it sucks, because then you have to do it again. All right, moving right along, we've got probably one of my favorite times of the day. We're gonna make a Nutter Butter Protein Waffle. Goodness, look at that. Tell me that doesn't look just like amazing. Here we go, taste test number one. Oh man. Yes, this is redonkulous. Grant, Grant, you wanna try this? Hey Grant. You wanna try this? It's a protein waffle. With all the shit in it, I think it's really good. That is good. I know. Pretty pumped about it. All right, guys, we've made it to the final meal of the day, so I'm getting ready to make my chicken, potatoes, and broccoli, along with some popcorn. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it, and then we can dig in. All right, first things first, we've got the chicken right here. So I usually try to get about 170 grams of chicken with dinner, so I've got a food scale. If you guys do not have one of these, I highly recommend you get it. It's just gonna make it easier to actually know what you're eating instead of guesstimating. So now that we got the chicken on there, I'm gonna zero it out right here. Now it's at zero and I need about 140-ish grams of potato. So this is where things get pretty methodical because I like to cut them like this to be able to put them on the pan around where I place the broccoli. Necessity, recently. So now I added the chicken in right here and we've got everything cooking up. Zero or out. Now the most important part. If you do not buy this already, you're a silly goose. It's barbecue sauce, it's delicious, and for one specific reason, shabam. That's why. 10 calories, are you kidding me? 70 calories or 10, okay? Come on now, it tastes like literally the same exact thing. We get 30 grams. So while Greg Doucette may sound like the parrot from Aladdin, he actually does have some wisdom to him. Doing just as Coach Greg says, smart pop baby, specifically the kettle corn kind, because I like a little sweeter popcorn, but this stuff is thebomb.com. Smart pop, 
100 calories for this entire bag of popcorn. Okay, the whole thing. Take some Pam spray or some great value butter flavor spray. Light it up. This right here is game changing. Be real generous. Give that a good mix. And now we have got cinnamon toast popcorn. Let me tell you something, it tastes so good. So now we got the final product. We got the popcorn and we've got my little stir fry, I guess I'll call it right here. And this is like the dinner I have every single night and it keeps me happy, satisfies my cravings, all the above. As far as water, this is where we're at. We're probably about one more third of the, of the way. So I'm gonna chug a lot of this while I'm eating this because this gets pretty spicy and this gets pretty sweet. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm a mixer. I've gotta have a bite of broccoli, a bite of chicken, and a bite of potato. I know people who like eat one thing at a time. I like to eat a bit of everything in my mouth. Unless I'm eating things separately like this, I'm gonna eat this after. It's gonna be dessert. Mm. So comment down below if you mix food or if you eat them separately. And if you've done the cinnamon challenge, which I have not. Now I wonder if like we used like a cinnamon protein powder, if we could make like anabolic popcorn. All right, everybody, we've made it to the end of the gallon for the day. So we're just about done. I figured I would end the video after I send this gallon. <sighs> it's like an accomplishment every time I kill that gallon every day, because it's like, damn. I don't have any more water to drink. But then of course, like an hour later, you're like, oh, you know what, I'm kind of thirsty. So if you're still with me right now, thank you so much for hanging with me this entire time. I hope that you were able to learn something and just kind of get an inside look at what I'm literally doing every day, what I'm putting into my body every day. So if you were not subscribed, be sure to go subscribe down below. I'd love to have you a part of my channel and join the awesome individuals that we have on my channel already. So thanks so much for hanging with me this entire time. You're a real one. And as always, let's keep getting better together. Keep on grinding. I'll see you guys in the next one.